in case we already know the ARFCN, which is like this channel number from our mobile phone, then we can try and convert that from our website to the to the frequency. So we can open Ice Weasel, which is just Firefox really, and we can search for Cell Mapper ARFCN. And on this website we can calculate the FCN. So what we do is that we do GSM world and we say for example 98. And we scroll down and here we have the downlink and we have the uplink. So that's very useful in case we do full sniffing on both the downlink and the uplink. But as you can see it's identical except Calibrate doesn't link the uplink channel so that's why it's useful to use a website like this for example which shows the uplink frequency as well. So with this website we can also look up different cell towers or BTSs. So we can select for example Denmark and we can select TDC and then we can select maybe 2G to see to look for BTSs or base transceiver stations, I think it's called. So we can look here and we can see that we got two in the inner city. We got one here. If we click this, we get some additional information such as the subsystem type, that it's uh, supporting edge. The cell ID, that's basically a unique ID for this particular BTS. So that's unique, 100%. And we also get G, the signal, and some other stuff as well. So that's that's pretty useful. And we can even do like satellite map if you want to, or open street map. So that's quite useful. So another useful website is Open Cell ID where you can search for the approximate or maybe exact location of your BTS. So I have found some values that we can use and we will just type them in. You can get these values from the service mode on your phone as well and then you can have a look which may be quite funny because you'll get a quite nice location and you may be within this circle for example so that that's quite neat it depends you're usually connecting to the BTS with the strongest, sig strongest signal so if you're standing right here you're most likely connecting to this BTS and if you're over here you're probably connecting to another BTS so that's that's pretty cool, even though you don't really need this information for GSM sniffing, but it is quite cool nonetheless.